What do you think about removing in God we trust from American money? I don't care whether it's there or not tbh. I'm atheist, I don't believe in any God. But four words are hardly on my to-do list for America. Till it's only been on there since 1957. I'm all for it, but don't waste money removing existing references. This isn't a battle worth fighting to me. So many other religious intrusions that matter way more. I think it's justified, but it's definitely not my primary concern. You know what is a primary concern of mine, though? The inclusion of religion in politics and government. It shouldn't be there, but on my list of things that need to be changed, this is way down the list. We need to take God out of the Supreme Court and the legislatures first. Never should have been there to begin with. Hear me out. Start mending all the new ones within Dog We Trust and see if anyone notices. I'm a Christian and I'd say remove it. Not everyone believes in God and it is a very strange thing to have as a motto, anyway. It would demonstrate actual separation of church and state, so I'm for it. Do it. The phrase had a good 67 year run. Time to try something else, like back to E Pluribus Unum or something. I would rather they quit making kids say one nation, under God in elementary school. I would personally not like to see it as I am not religious and I know that some other people also agree. Shouldn't have ever been there. The founding fathers expressed that they wanted separation of church and government. I think it's not the biggest priority at the moment but should be gotten around to eventually. The constitution made it clear that God wasn't supposed to be in the law so being on money is weird. Not everyone believes in gods while some believe in multiple so it's a bit uninclusive to those people and overall is unneeded. Doesn't matter to me either way. Even though I'm Christian, I don't care if they remove it. I don't see why others should either. I haven't seen anybody complaining about it these past couple of years, I don't think anybody would care. Remove it. The US has citizens of many faiths, and none at all. It's disrespectful and disingenuous to have some faith-based sector of the constituents plaster that onto everybody's currency. Who's God? What about atheists? Take it away. We are not a theocracy. We are a nation of laws. There is this whole separation of church and state that keeps getting violated. I am not religious so having that garbage on our money and in our pledge is off-putting. I think you got a better chance winning lotto. It would be better since we aren't a theocratic nation. But it has to be changed to something different like E Pluribus Unum or America within us something like that. It should not have been there in the first place. We have a perfectly good motto out of many one. That represents our stated national goal to be a united populace with liberty and justice for all. A higher priority for me is removing under God from the Pledge of Allegiance so my kid doesn't have to say it. From what I've seen so far in my life, I don't trust God at all. This incredibly divisive phrase is a clear violation of the Establishment Clause of the Constitution and should have never been put on money in the first place. You can't have freedom of religion without freedom from religion. To me it is no different than printing in Satan we trust or in which is we trust. We should have stuck with E Pluribus Unum, which includes everybody and is not an illegal government endorsement of religion. I'd say we have bigger issues to address before that. I'd. I don't really know what God is. We won't have paper money much longer either way. Absolutely remove it. Maybe not my highest priority, as far as places God should be removed from in politics, but still shouldn't be there. In greed we must. As an atheist, the phrase does not bother me at all. Of course, I don't speak for all atheists though. As an atheist, I'd like to see it gone, but I'd rather see the influence of any religion removed entirely from our government. As someone who was raised Roman Catholic originally, the fact that anything to do with God was put on our money completely misses the point of the real Christian faith. I don't really trust God, never have, so I say go for it. Definitely not a priority. The problems it represents within our society aren't going to get any better due to its removal, and until they start calming down it won't be removed. I'd be pretty disappointed in my side of the political spectrum if they made it a major talking point RN. It should not be there. That's what a theocracy puts on its money. I'm not losing any sleep over it though. I very much want that done. That phrase was put on money and under God on the pledge because of the communist scare. We should get rid of it and replace it with Ben Franklin's choice mind your business, much better I think. It wasn't there originally, it was only added during the Red Scare. 
but as other have said this is pretty low priority and God needs to be taken out of other parts of government first. Love it. I really don't trust that guy. Originally, I would have said I didn't care, but as more and more religious nonsense gets codified in our laws and culture, I realize just how invasive it can become even to allow small concessions. Yes please, but not if it is going to start some big dump fight. I just don't think religion belongs on our money or in our pledge of allegiance. Good we are not a Christian nation. We were not founded on it. Many of the founding fathers spoke out against religion. We have laws that are supposed to separate church and state. Separation of church and state should be honored regardless of beliefs. Money is an integral part of government. I say get rid of it. Pointless that it's on there now, pointless to keep it there. Would be cool to not see it on there in future currency. Would rather see, be excellent to each other. In guns we trust. Leave it off the next redesign. I don't think it's worth retooling everything now, even though it shouldn't have been there ever. Also, take it out of any other place it's used in government and remove under God from the pledge. I don't care, I'm from NZ. I don't really care. Paper money is for the boomers who fell for religions in the first place. I've not used notes for years. Doesn't matter to me. As long as it spends. Yeah I get rid of that bullshit phrase. It's hardly relevant nowadays. Whether it stays or not doesn't matter to me. But, I have always thought it weird to have in God we trust on it as peakly cause not everyone has a belief in God or a God. But to take it off does feel like a neutral ground if that makes sense. Someone who sees in God we trust isn't persuaded to believe but yet a believer would think differently as if we are tearing away God from the people. Like, chill it's money who gives a fuck. Half the time people use cards and never see a bill enough to care lol. I think it never should have been added. Terrible, but also somewhat appropriate because we now seem to worship money instead of God. A really cliche notion, but incidentally true. About freaking time. I'd say great. It's a new addition anyways, it wasn't on our money for three-fourths of our history. Well seeing as there is no God, it would seem obvious. I think it's far more important to get rid of the Pledge of Allegiance. Compelling school children to pledge their allegiance to a symbol of the state every morning is pretty dystopian. It can stay as long as they add all others must pay cash. Could we also fix our national anthem while we're at it? I don't trust in God. Remove all religion from my government. The religious just shot up a nightclub, so, fuck all religions. Shouldn't have been added in the first place. Good riddance. There is enough superstition in politics without it being codified. How about under God from the Pledge of Allegiance? It was only inserted in the 60s to prove we weren't a bunch of godless commies. I'd love for it to be removed, but is it high priority? Not really. It never should have been there in the first place. In liberty we trust. Fixed it let's all go home. I don't give a fuck about letters on paper, I care about the batshit religious influence in our government. A. It's kind of fitting to keep it because it's printed right onto the actual god that they trust. Couldn't possibly care less. If it's going to be an expensive thing to get done, I would rather the money go somewhere else. It should never have been added in the first place. Why stop there? How about we just get rid of god altogether? I'm not for it if only because the holy rollers on the right would never shut up about it. Separation of church and state. American only started to recognize religion because the Soviet Union was anti-religion. The whole thing was moronic. I never see paper money anymore and it doesn't say this on my debit card. Long overdue. It never should have been there and a country with freedom of religion is literally the first right outlined in the Bill of Rights. Definitely, with all new currency. I think it's a great idea, light bulb, thoughtful face. The word should never be on anything government related. Separation of church and state is one of the core foundations the states are standing upon. They are a lie. Deceitful. Disgusting. Which fucking god are they talking about because 90 of us do not believe in whatever god that is? The Baptist god is not the same as the Mormon god which is not the same as the Lutheran god which is not the same as the Jewish god which is not the same as the Catholic god etc. Those words promote an idea that the country is founded on a religion and nothing could be further from the truth. Good, get rid of it. It was only on there because of S. Carrico, M. Un, Is, D. S. I'm all for it, replace it with some other patriotic phrases that better reflect the diversity of our country. 
I literally couldn't care less. People being so pissy about it being there are crybabies. It's four fucking words. Wipe that 1957 boomer piece of Christian nationalist propaganda bullshit entirely off of US money. Doesn't matter. Not worth changing, and the annoying Christian people specifically the annoying ones, most Christians are fine would never shut up. Added for context I am Christian.